Hello, welcome to The Modern Lady, where you'll learn how to elevate your life with elegance. I'm Devereaux. If you're new to my channel, please hit that red subscribe button so that you can get an update when I have a new video to share. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you ladies so much for your continued love and support for my channel. I appreciate and adore you all. Today, I'm going to share with you five things I love about Jamie Porter Barrett. This is a video in the Elegant Women Icon series. Elegant Women Icons are inspirational women that have changed history and certainly made this world a better place. I'll be highlighting and featuring women that you probably have never heard of that had some really stylish, graceful presence and they were able to really make this world a better place. So without further ado, let's get into this video. J.D. Porter Barrett was born in 1865 in the state of Virginia. She's a social reformer, she was an educator, and she was a welfare worker. Janie Porter Barrett is pretty incredible. Listen to this. In 1908, she helped to organize and became the first president of the Virginia State Federation of Colored Women's Clubs. In the 1860s, obviously, it was a different time, and there were organizations just for African Americans that were called colored or colored women's if it was for a, a woman. And so she was such an inspirational figure for not only helping to organize, but also being in a leadership role as the first president. It's a really big deal. I can't imagine being in the 1800s and the type of barriers and obstacles that she probably faced when she was working to create this organization, let alone to continue leading it once it was established. So incredible and so absolutely inspiring. In 1915, Janie opened the Industrial Home for Wayward Girls. This is a rehab center for African American female juvenile delinquents. After several name changes, the center became known as the Virginia Industrial School for Colored Girls. Absolutely inspirational. I think that at, in that time, if we could try to go back to that context of the 1860s, it's just so hard to imagine how children were treated if they had brown or black skin. But I'm sure it was not in a positive manner, especially if they were delinquents. But Janie knew that they needed help, they needed support, and so she created this center, this place to teach them the skills to get back on their feet and to help make their futures brighter than their past. Love this story, and I love all the contributions that Janie has made to the world. What's so cool about this school is that it stressed self-reliance and self-discipline. And there was academic and vocational instruction, as well as mentorship with a big sister initiative. I love how inspiring and empowering this was for young women at that time. She really paid close attention to the individual needs of every young woman who was in that center. And that's just absolutely incredible and so inspiring. Janie served as the president of the Virginia State Federation of Colored Women's Clubs for 25 years. She retired in 1940. In 1950, her training school was renamed the Jamie Porter Barrett School for Girls, and it became racially integrated in 1965. So that's 100 years after she was born, they integrated her school. The Virginia Industrial School in existed as the Barrett Learning Center until 2005. I'm so overwhelmed with the inspiration in Jamie Porter Barrett and her story, and she's one of many women, these names that we would never know. They're not in the history books, they're not on CNN, they're not on Fox News. So I really hope you enjoyed learning more about Jamie Porter Barrett in this video. She's such an inspiration and she certainly inspires me to continue contributing to this world to make it a better place. Thank you so much for stopping by this channel. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate the YouTube love and I look forward to seeing you in another one. Bye for now.